I dyed my hair, which was the biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> I look like a carrot, but it's fine. Everything is fine. So yeah, hi guys, I'm back home. I spent a week at my parents' house in the middle of nowhere, where you can do a lot of exciting things, like one, throw pine cones to your dogs. Wow. Or two, endlessly walk around the half abandoned playing field. Oh, okay, I'm exhausted. I guess I'll just walk around this for the 15th time. I will get so fit. Well, they didn't get fit, but otherwise it was pure heaven. No people, just me and my dogs and inner peace. And a lot of pine cones. And a dead slow worm I found. Also the internet was a bit shit. Anyways, now I'm back home and today I will show you my top six favorite items I own. Because why not? I own a lot of stuff, mostly crap, and I think it would be nice to show them to you. Obviously my most favorite thing I own are my dogs, but they are not items. They're my family, so that doesn't count. I will also exclude my computer, even if it's an item, and also family. <laughs> what? So the first thing is the egg mug which is a pretty obvious choice too you see it a lot in my videos it's on my youtube banner and you guys seem to like it too since it gets featured a lot in the fan art i get and i think that's such an awesome and funny thing for some weird reason the mug has become such a big part of my channel which says a lot about me and my sense of humor and i don't even know how it happened it just did it just suddenly started appearing in my videos like hey I'm a mug that says dick. I bought the mug from eBay a long time ago because I thought it looked cool and had the right amount of edginess. Now it's my favorite mug and basically the only one I use. And I wish someday I will have the whole collection. Then my life will be complete. That's sad. If I die, just bury me with this mug. Okay, that's even more sad. Next, this is the best thing. I have, I swear. It has everything. Nostalgia, dogs, and quality art. It's the Homeward Bound to VHS with my self-made cover art. I drew this when I was eight. I honestly can't tell. It was such a long time ago. Probably 1996 or 1997. I still remember how freaking proud I was of this. As a child, I thought it was the absolutely coolest thing ever to draw your own VHS covers. And apparently my brother thought the same. Yeah, don't give us that mainstream official crap. We make our own rules. Uh, it's taken a little bit of damage, which is not surprising at all. And there's mold. I feel like it's a literal health hazard to have this around, but I don't care. Can I still smell the 19s in this? Spice Girls bubblegum? Ring pops? Yeah, smells like mold and plastic. That's 19s for ya. I also really enjoy the glue marks on the back. Really subtle. You can hardly even see them. Jesus. So, which one do you prefer? This amazing masterpiece or this really, really boring one? Like, so boring. Golden Gate Bridge? Um, yeah, it looks exactly the same. A bit wonky. Had no idea what I was doing. Oh, that is seriously disgusting, like... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm also really curious, are those rocks or just piles of dog and cat poop? This next item is also made by me and I still can't freaking believe I made this. It's the companion cube. I made this almost 10 years ago. Ah, it's falling apart. What have I done? Okay, yeah, you can clearly see I do quality work. I used to be a huge portal fan and spent countless hours, tears and felt to create this. I still remember the pain and frustration I experienced with this very vividly actually. <sighs> It's very dusty, it has a lot of dog hair on it, it's falling apart. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. But goddamn, I'm still so proud of this. Okay, that was a bit aggressive, calm down. One of my favorite things is also my all-time favorite book, The Watership Down. I can't live without this book, like, it's so good, I read it like three times a year. I loved the movie as a child, didn't get any trauma like so many of us did, but I did grow up with King Anakaraboshi Gin, so bloody or suffocating Kating bunnies. Nah, not a big deal. I still love the movie, but the book, the book, it's so good. So yeah, I highly recommend you to read this if you haven't. Except if you are really, really sensitive and really, really love rabbits, then don't do it. This is me after I stop filming, take off all my clothes, flop on the sofa and just watch Stranger Things season 3 and live my best life. Look at him! Look 
Look at the little footies. The tiny ears. All the folds he has. Perfection. This has to be the cutest Shiba plush in existence. And he also works as a perfect stress relief. Just squish those folds, poke those fat rolls, appreciate the choppiness, cured my depression. He's so soft, I just want to... This is the last one and I'm obsessed with this. So creepy and so cute. He has a hole in his bag where you can shove your hand. Or if you're small like me, your entire arm. I feel like I'm really violating him right now. Just get in there really deep. And you can move his arms. <laughs> I could watch that whole day. So yeah, this is Tribe from Kremlins. I am a huge fan. And I originally bought him because I wanted to try and repaint some parts of him, like his ears and arms, and just make him more realistic. But you know me, I'm lazy. I sit on Tumblr every day, all day. Can't get anything done, sad times. But it's okay because I think he looks just fine like this. To be honest, I would have probably ruined him completely. I've always said Heiko looks like a Kremlin. Um, <laughs> look at them, they look exactly the same. It's the upside down version of her. You're so cute. You're so cute. Fun fact, I almost named her Gizmo when she was a pup, which is really fitting. Okay, okay. So yeah, those were some of my favorite things I own. Some are weird, some are moldy. There's also rabbit animals. What's not to like? I also have a lot more things I really, really like and there's always more coming. I seriously buy way too much stuff. My eBay watch list is constantly expanding like some fucking weird black hole. But I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell. My last video is over there. Go check it out and guys, I hope you're having an, an adorable. I was supposed to say I hope you're having a great day, but adorable works just fine. I hope you guys are having an adorable day and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.